Hey guys, welcome to Define Agile. This is Anatoly, where we're talking everything Agile and Agile tools. Today, I want to show you a very quick video how to add your stories or bugs or tasks to Epix. It is not that tricky, so it will take a couple of minutes. Before we do, I have a couple of things I want to tell you. Thing number one, since you guys watching this video, you're probably just starting out with Jira. If you want to learn Jira in just about eight hours, go to the link in the description to my course, and you can literally learn Jira from beginner to advanced in about eight hours. And then if you guys are stuck and you need somebody to sit down with you, solve your problems on Agile, on Jira, Kanban, Scrum, help you as a Scrum Master, a Project Manager, a CEO, please go to the description and schedule a time with me in my calendar. You will sit 101 and I'll be happy to help you. Finally, if you have a company and you are struggling making your teams Agile, struggling with the Jira process, please go to defineagile.com, send me, uh, fill in the form, send me it, and then we'll talk how I can help your business. And now let's get to how do you add issues, tasks, bugs, anything you want to Apex. So this is my Scrum project. It will also work in the Kanban project, but for Kanban project, you need to enable backlog. I have a video on that, just search on the channel. But for Scrum project, I would usually go to a backlog because it has a specific Epic tab that I use all the time. So you might see something like this. I would just click on Epix. And here you can I create Epic if you don't have one. If you do have one, it's cool. You also can see how many issues you have Epics and what in what statuses they are. So it's very, very valuable. And things are very easy. Let's say I want to add something to a sprint related Epic. I would just drag and drop to sprint related and it will appear here. So if I go to sprint related, I have it there. And um, I can move more of them there if I want. Like I can add some more. I will say four now. If I want to see all the issues, I can click on it. It will just show me everything for this epic as well. So you can also add them for a different way. Like if you want to go back to a backlog, you can clear all filters. And then you see the sprint related is here. You can go and click on the issue itself. Let's say UI page and it will open up an epic link and you can go and add your epic link here as well. Just sprint related. I put it here and it appears. Another thing I want to show you really quickly, if you click create, in my case, I just see the project, the issue type, summary, and description. If you want to have here your epic link, all you have to do is click on three dots, click show fields, and then add an epic link, click apply. So here's your epic link, and then epic link test, and then you just say sprint related, let's say. Click create. Then we can view the issue. Here we go. I have some statuses that are not really working very well. So that's why I don't see it in the backlog. But you don't have that issue, so you will see it in the backlog. So Epic Link Test is here. You can also do the same through Epics. You can just say create issue in Epic. And then you can just say create issue in an epic. I'll call it this way. You click create. Oh, made a typo, but it's okay. So I can view that issue. For me to appear in the backlog, which you don't have to do, I just have to change the status. And then if I go back to my backlog, which you don't have to do, it's probably will appear for you right there create issue for an epoch, E-O-U-C. So essentially those are the ways how you can create your, add your issues to Epic uh, with creating stories, with looking at Epic stuff. So hopefully it helps. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you think that video brought you value, please like and subscribe because this is how we can spread it to more and more people. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next one. Bye-bye.